What would you say was the major thing? Uh, at the senior bar, I saw you cover Philip Dorsey, a guy that's getting so much hype. What would you say was some of the things that you had to overcome? I mean, you made progress from day to day to day, uh, progressing to a, a better corner. I would just um, couple things I had to brush up on about just like with my technique wise and then pressing on and off with, with the right hands and then recognizing what receiver I'm going up against and then it's just basically like staying on top of the receiver so I don't get beat deep how I was at the first beginning of practice. Were you, were you saying that if you weren't invited to the combine as a quarterback that you wouldn't be throwing that you wouldn't be quarterback rules? If you were invited as a DB, you'd be doing all that? Um, that's um, anything that they, um, they, they sent me here for, invited me, is I'm going to come in and do what they wanted me to do. Were you surprised you were invited as a quarterback, considering you Southern flat out said you were going to switch the field? No, I wasn't surprised because I'm um, like, I already had the um, NFL come back, uh, in, NFL Delaware, invite Titan, for Nicholas quarterback, Boyle, so I just come in, I'm just going to come in and do my best at it. How much, how much of your time has been spent quarterback to, to corner, cornerback? What's the ratio out of that? Um, the rest of it, it about um, fit half and half um, because um, I know a couple teams probably want to see me throw the ball around and a couple want to see me doing probably back pedal. So I just um, kept my own press ball out there working out also. When do you want to commit to one or the other or do you want to? Come again. To commit to one or the other or do you want to keep doing both? Uh, I'm going to commit to one of them, but it's just I'm open to, any, I'm open to playing any position. When did you find out that a couple of clubs might want to see you throw, and when did you decide to start throwing it around again? Um, my agent had, he had called me and told me like a couple of teams wanted to see me Arkansas throw the ball around at pro day, and then Derby here at um, combine. So when he gave me the heads up on that, that's when I when I got thrown to a couple of guys at the Exos in Pensacola while I was training there. When was that? When did he get? When did you get that call from your agent? Um, like two weeks ago. What's the most difficult part of the transition? So, what's the most difficult part of the transition? Um, the most difficult part is um, like the backpedaling, like getting my legs in shape by, by backpedaling, and then just like the little, the, like, like I said, technique-wise things, and then just just um, recognizing like um, receiver routes and the rock combination going to be thrown at me, and then that'll be it. Does Does it help that you play quarterback? Are you able to retain it? Is, is there any? <laughs> Retention level there, Marga, or is it almost you're just going? Five, no, it, uh, Tyler, it'd be um, just, Marga, just, by, just by me playing quarterback. Like, I have a um, good anticipation, like, what it'll be thrown at me by watching how the receiver line up and then how the rock combination is coming. Before that call two weeks ago, did you were you throwing at all, or were you completely doing cornerback? I was completely doing um, cornerback, Julie, really, because I hadn't committed to playing cornerback. So, has any of this been Um, it's just something that just, um, the, the man above blessed me with being versatile. And then I'm just like I said, I'm just going to do whatever uh, do whatever the team want me to do. I'm, I'm not going to um, argue with what they want me to do. I'm going to do anything to try to get on the field.